Hello there YouTube, Xcanimo here and bringing you another cube defense video as always. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to clear wave 42 on classic co-op. I've had a bunch of people telling me how hard wave 42 is, how it's impossible, it can't be beaten. I believe me, I've been in the same boat, I've been a new player and this is by far one of the hardest waves in classic co-op and I wish I knew how to beat it when I first started. So today, that's what we're going to be doing. So, we're on the temple map and we've got a bit of an overkill setup right here but this is just going to outline like the basic things that you need to beat it number one shockers shockers are incredibly important when it comes to doing this because they deal with all the lightning keeps so your iron spikes or whatever kind of dps tower you have can deal with the um, shadow keeps effectively you don't necessarily need to have rail guns heavy turrets would do just fine it's just you need a lot more um, to deal the DPS to kill the shadows that is. Um, glue guns are very essential for this, they just slow everything down, let the seismic shocks get a lot more hits, and believe me, these things, they do so much damage on their own, because they're hitting every single cube at once. So they're not just doing 65 damage, they'll be doing, you know, close to the thousands depending on how much they're hitting, and they'll deal with the lightning keeps very effectively. And yeah, so just as the rail guns, got some campfires behind them, just to give them shadow sight, just so they can deal with everything. And yeah, I'm gonna just run wave 42 real quick and show you guys what it's like. Okay. Okay, so here it comes. As you can see, the seismics are dealing with all the lightning very well. Um, I tend to put these on strong, just so they ignore the lightnings and don't try to kill them. But I mean, everything you have here, If even if you're a lower level, you'll have four people, some people can be doing factories, you'll have your shockers down early game anyway, so they'll get levels naturally, and all of this should be quite achievable by wave 42, all of this. If it's not, like if you don't have, I guess, close to this kind of defense, then wave 50 will be very, very difficult for all the new players out there, so let's just sit back and see how this defense deals with this wave. Okay, so just a little clean up now, killing off these last shadow cube bosses. And essentially that's all there is to it guys. I will be doing a guide um, quite shortly on how to beat wave 50, so I'm not going to delve too much into uh, basic setups. All I can say for now is uh, towers such as shockers, anything that does splash damage will be essential for waves like this because you don't want your DPS locking onto those pesky lightning cubes. Anyway, I hope you, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me out so much. If you're enjoying the content on Cube Defense so far, please subscribe as well. And be sure to comment on anything you'd like to see in the future. Any waves you need help with, anything like that. I might even play with some of you guys if you're lucky. Right, that's all I got for today, guys. I'll see you in the next Cube Defense video. See ya.